In 2001, I opened the gallery next door and a couple of years later, we acquired this building so that we were able to expand the gallery, which was already too small, and add a coffee shop. And it was with the introduction of the coffee shop that we, dis which was the only coffee shop in town at that time, it became a meeting place and a little bit of a cafe society for artists to meet up and meet each other, swap ideas and so on. After we'd set up the coffee shop and I got to know some of the artists personally, a year or so later, one of the artists who'd been showing with Norfolk Oaten Studios came to see me. She'd spoken with other colleagues who were also showing and they expressed their frustration that Norfolk Open Studios couldn't provide them with the sort of um, setup that they required in this part of the county. They felt it was too large, too unwieldy, and probably too expensive. And so uh, I was asked what we should do about it and suggested that we set up a trail of our own. So five of us sat down over a cup of tea and we conceived the idea of our trail. I think that this year the emphasis will be probably on textile work and also on painting and drawing. Some years there's much more in the way of ceramics and um, other years there be, there's been more sculpture. So um, I think whatever's on offer will interest the public. There's a wealth of artists in this area. We're extremely lucky and it won't be the same in all areas at all. So um, we're able to get a good selection of work um, and, and different types of work and different disciplines. So it's always interesting. It's not just 25 painters or you know, 25 potters. We've got a really good mix of work. One thing that we try to make clear to the general public is that there is absolutely no pressure to buy anything it's purely artists opening their studios so that um, people will have a better understanding of what goes on and the processes involved in producing a piece of work. And I think that's been very helpful. So if people watch this, they'll know that they can just turn up, they'll be met with kindness and courtesy and probably offered a drink or a cup of tea. And I think they'll have a really nice time. It's just quite an experience not just seeing the artist studio, but perhaps looking into the house and the garden and just asking questions and swapping ideas. <laughs>